Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Drones have changed the way warfare is conducted. Not only dedicated military systems, but also off-the-shelf drones that cause major security issues for the military. Finding and neutralizing these systems has become a challenge with multiple approaches. Although the program ceased in 2017, it is noteworthy that Dutch police once taught eagles to intercept unlicensed drones. No drone zones are commonly used at military and federal installations and are often guarded by advanced anti-drone devices, such as capture nets and radio frequency jammers. The apps that you use to fly these drones will actually have a map of where you can and can't fly. It'll talk about restricted zones. You know you can't fly within the five miles of an airport and you know you can't fly on the installation. Uh, but what are the penalties? Well, the FAA can fine you up to $10,000 for flying in, in zones like this. Through modern counter UAS, unmanned aerial system training, personnel are prepared to identify and eliminate aerial threats using specialist equipment and tactical techniques. During intense training sessions, security teams practice tracking drone signatures, jamming hostile systems, engaging them with small arms, and coordinating quick response actions against new unmanned threats. Marine gunners undergo rigorous counter UAS training with M240B machine guns to become proficient in airborne threat response. Members of the LAD, Low Altitude Air Defense Battalion, are proficient in tracking moving objects, predicting flight trajectories, and using precise fire to engage. These Marines have the option to use M1014 assault shotguns for versatility in counter drone operations. Thanks to specialized training, these defenders can fight small, unmanned threats at close range, and the shotgun's spread pattern works especially well against flying targets. Marines can also use the Smash 2000L fire control system to hone their counter drone skills. Really? Yeah, <laughs> I was doing the same thing. Let me test again. This cutting edge optic computes intricate ballistics, tracks aerial threats automatically, and allows for the unprecedented accurate engagement of enemy drones. Systems like the Drone Defender, a groundbreaking counter UAS weapon, are becoming increasingly important to soldiers fighting in contemporary battle spaces. In contrast to conventional weaponry, this advanced weapon uses directed energy technology to interfere with enemy drone communications without launching rounds. When operators acquire a target, the drone defender sends out radio frequencies that cut off the hostile drone's link to its operator. This technology's most remarkable feature is its ability to block GPS signals, which would prevent the unmanned aircraft from returning to its launch location.
Infantry units prove the equipment's usefulness in tactical scenarios during drills at Fort Bliss. We, we don't know if he's red air, but we've seen him enough over the last week. We, just figured out who we got a pretty good idea of who it is. At bases like Al Udeed Air Base, AUAB, protecting against small unmanned aerial systems calls for advanced technology and skilled operators. In addition to continuously scanning for aerial threats, dedicated CSUAS, counter small UAS controllers, maintain specialized detecting equipment. These experts use cutting edge equipment to detect and destroy illicit drones while collaborating with base security forces. CSUAS capabilities are becoming increasingly important to base defense, as military commanders realize that unmanned threats are a mounting type of warfare. These innovative defensive strategies demonstrate how the military adjusts to changing technological demands. Knowing that their experience will influence future counter-drone operations, the personnel involved in this mission take satisfaction in being a part of these defensive capabilities. Counter Suez is counter small and man aerial systems, and it's a system that detects, defeats, and identifies drones. We will perform exercises on our controllers and on our gear to make sure everything's working. And then also we'll work with the patrolmen to make sure that they know how to deal with UASs on AUAB. Innovative net capture technologies are increasingly used in modern counter drone operations to eliminate unwanted aircraft securely. To assess these advanced drone hunting capabilities, testing programs bring together trainees and seasoned operators. Specialized nets enable forces to capture undamaged UASs for study instead of destroying potentially useful intelligence sources. These systems minimize collateral damage by launching nets that entangle the target drone's control surfaces and rotors, pushing it to the ground. These non-kinetic techniques are especially useful in delicate locations where conventional weaponry could be dangerous. Tactical alternatives such as these are continuously improved by field assessments, giving defenders useful weapons against unmanned threats. Today we're testing the drone hunter system. If a drone were to fly on the base, we're testing out different ways that we could potentially capture it. Before operations, low-altitude air defense marines carefully inspect the components of each weapon system and assemble FIM-92 Stinger missiles. Installing the battery coolant unit, BCU, which supplies power to the missile's advanced guidance systems, is a crucial pre-launch step. While keeping close contact with range safety staff, teams systematically confirm seeker head functionality and conduct thorough system checks. Hey, Don, 
Lad gunners wait for the characteristic high-pitched tone that signals target lock while tracking aerial targets with the Stinger's IFF, identification friend or foe system. Team leaders, make sure when our gun. That and the. After recognizing the threat and launching the missile, Marines quickly remove the BCU from the launcher to prevent system damage. I wonder if they're going to do it again. Teams maintain constant air defense coverage after engagement by promptly preparing for any new threats. Laser weapons are an effective method for destroying drones. Marine air defenders use the compact laser weapon system, CLAWS. This cutting edge directed energy tool is used by LAD teams to eliminate small, unmanned threats, and they have shown incredible accuracy against commercial drones. Kinetic systems are also used. The mobile low, slow, small unmanned aircraft system integrated defeat system, MLIDS, consists of two specialized vehicles, an electronic warfare vehicle that uses advanced jamming equipment to disrupt or commandeer enemy drones, and a vehicle that uses a 30 millimeter cannon and an M240 machine gun to deliver kinetic effects while controlling its partner vehicle. JLTVs, joint light tactical vehicles, serve as the chassis for the system. We are an air defense anti-UAS system. So we got the KE truck and the EW truck. The KE truck obviously is the 30 mil and the 240. That is the kinetic defeat. So if we need to shoot a drone out of the sky and destroy the drone, then that's what that truck is essentially that's job. Small drones are used by modern military forces for combat duties, including reconnaissance and bomb disposal. Drone firms and military people working together are revolutionizing military capabilities in all operational domains. Unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs like the RQ-4, are used for strategic missions. With its wide fuselage and bulbous nose, the RQ-4 Global Hawk's unique whale-like design optimizes sensor and fuel capacity while permitting effective high-altitude flight. Using advanced onboard sensors, this unmanned system conducts strategic surveillance throughout CENTCOM with both local and remote pilots. Okay, we're dipping away. Got a thermal barrack in it. RQ-4 launch and recovery elements, LRE, operate as mobile ground control stations, essentially 10,000 pound computerized cockpits that can function from anywhere. These sophisticated control centers enable pilots to conduct global missions through portable cockpits providing vital communications and surveillance support. Also known as the Predator B is the MQ-9. MQ-9 Reapers are multi-purpose hunter-killer platforms that combine the ability to strike with precision and continuous surveillance.
in accordance with stringent safety procedures. Ground technicians carefully place Paveway laser-guided bombs onto the aircraft's wing hardpoints. This remotely piloted aircraft transports a variety of armaments for various mission profiles across battle regions, supporting both kinetic operations and intelligence gathering. The MQ-9 Reaper takes off similarly to a conventional airplane. With the help of its turboprop engine and lift from its wings, it speeds down the runway. Once airborne, the MQ-9 can loiter for over 27 hours. Crews of the MQ-9 Reapers can continuously monitor ground forces, spotting dangers with high-definition sensors. There are even more advanced UAVs to talk about. The MQ-25 Stingray is an unmanned tanker that ushers in a new age of naval aviation. This groundbreaking drone passed automated catapult launches from the flight deck during carrier qualification trials on board the USS George H.W. Bush. By offering autonomous aerial refueling for manned aircraft, it expands strike group capabilities and is the Navy's first carrier-based unmanned aircraft. Drones have changed how war is waged and how drones are combated. From kinetic weapons such as shotguns to aerial deployed nets, the next major war requires drone defensive systems. Drones have effectively removed the guaranteed air supremacy from advanced nations and made the playing field even more even. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.